panelist, I am Ms. Paula Angelica Costa, a mathematics teacher applicant for junior high school. I'll be presenting to you my demonstration teaching in Mathematics 7 with the topic, Evaluating Algebraic Expression. Allow me to start. Good morning! Everybody, good morning! I want you all to start and let us have first our prayer. Everybody bow your head. Okay, at the back, bow your head. Okay. Are you ready to pray? Let us pray. This we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Okay, grade 7, again, good morning. Okay, before you take your seats, I want you to arrange your chairs properly. Okay, make sure that you observe social distancing. Check your um, check the check your area. Uh, pick up the pieces of papers around you or under your chair. Let me see. Okay, everybody, you may now sit down. Very good. Class secretary, please report the attendance for today. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Gate 7. You are all present today. Good job, Gate 7. Now, everybody, before we formally begin our discussion for today, let us have first discuss again the class rules. Okay, give me one. Very good. Listen carefully. Another one. Perfect. The most um, important respect whenever teacher is speaking or discussing let me finish first then raise your hand then i will call you if you have concerns or if you have a question then i will call you okay again next one very good so raise your hand whenever you want to answer or ask question and lastly Thank you very much, Samantha. Observe social distancing and the health protocols. So very good, grade 7. Now next, we are ready. Now, let us begin our review. Before, okay? So, like, like what I have said earlier, before we formally begin our um, discussion, let us first activate your schema in our subject. Let us have the recapitulation of our discussion yesterday. Are you ready? Grade 7? Absolutely. Okay, let's have this. Okay, for our instruction, grade 7, can you read Josh? Thank you very much, Josh. So this is an oral discussion, grade 7. So give what is being defined or asked. Are you ready? Of course, grade 7. Okay, let's start. Uh, number 1. Read, my dad. Okay, your answer. Correct. The answer is positive or negative sign. Very good. Next one. Janine. Okay. The answer. Very good. A variable third. The third one. Yes. Janine. Read. Very good. The answer. Correct. Numerical and literal coefficient. The fourth one. Yes, Adrian. Your answer, please. Very good. Variable. And the last one. You. Yes, Jude. Okay. Third with no variable. Your answer, Jude. Very good. Constant term. Okay, so you may sit down, Jude. Very good, everybody. So we are done reviewing our um, lesson yesterday. I hope you remember. Okay, you remember our lesson because our lesson yesterday is just a continuation of our discussion for today. Are we clear? Okay. 
Now everybody, um, like what I have said last time, um, like, what, like what I have promised, I know that you like activities. So therefore, for today's lesson, I prepared lots. So I am expecting that all of you will participate. Okay, so let us start the first activity. Okay, so everybody, are you familiar with this kind of puzzle? Okay, Rie, Vivian, very good, robust puzzle. Are you familiar with this? Okay, some of you are familiar and some of you are not, but that's okay. I will explain it to you before we start the activity. Okay, so for those who are not familiar with this kind of activity, this puzzle or um, robust puzzle is a puzzle that use the combination of illustrated pictures and individual letters that depicts words and phrases. Okay, so in this kind of puzzle, you can see pictures, you can see letters, okay, you can also see addition and subtraction sign and equal sign. Okay, so what we need to do here is to analyze first before we answer. Because I love you grade 7, I prepared clues. Okay, the definition of the words or phrases so that it is uh, it will make it easier it will be easy for you to uh, to get the answer okay so let are you ready i know you're ready grade seven okay let's start the first one okay the first one okay you me okay observe property okay for the definition can you read you me Okay, what is your answer? Let's check if that's correct. Very good, Yumi. That's correct. Polynomial. Okay, it is a special type of algebraic expression. It is the sum of the finite number of terms involving only the multiplication of numerals and variables. Okay? Next one. Very good, grade 7. Next one. Yes, Robert. Okay, the definition is a polynomial of degree 1. Okay, very good, Robert. Linear. Okay, the next one. Yes, Camille. The degree 2 polynomial of degree 2. Okay, what is your answer, Camille? Let me see, quadratic, let me see. Very good. Okay, next one. Okay, who was answered? Yes, Uno. Okay, a polynomial of degree 3. Very good. What is your answer? Very good, Uno. Cubic. Next one. And the last one. Okay, yes, you, Dave. Read. A polynomial of degree 0. Imagine that, degree of zero or degree zero. What is your answer, Dave? Based on the picture. Constant. Okay? Constant is a polynomial of degree zero. Okay? Understood, grade seven? Do you have a question? Are you with me, grade seven? Okay, so let, now let us proceed with our objectives for today's lesson. Okay, so what is our target for today's lesson? At the end of the discussion, learners, you grade 7 are expected to first evaluate algebraic expression for given values of the variable. So that is our lesson for today evaluating algebra expression easy of course next one perform the operation in the expression and the last value accumulated knowledge as means of new understanding okay grade seven okay now let us have our next activity 
I know you like it, page 7. So, everybody, I know that you are all familiar with this activity. Jumbled letters. Am I right? Okay. So, everybody, uh, for the instruction, I, I know that you already know how to um, do this activity, but allow me to explain to you the instruction. Okay. Rearrange the jumbled letters to the correct to get the correct answer. I'll be um, I'll be showing you the definition, the jumbled letters, and I'll be calling names for you to answer this. Okay, each item or each definition. Okay. Okay. Let's have the first one. Okay, listen. Read the first one. Mm -hmm. A symbol used to enclose sections of mathematical expression. Your answer, please. Parenthesis. Is it correct? Let me see. Very good, parenthesis. Next one. Yes, you ever. Read, please. Okay, and your answer, exponent, let's check if that's correct. Very good, it's correct. Okay, next one. Yes, Kenneth. Act of process, act or process of multiplying. Very easy. Okay, your answer, Kenneth. Multiplication, is it correct? Very good, Kenneth. Okay, next, you, Ayla. Read. Okay, method of distributing a group of things into equal parts. Your answer? Division. Let's check if that's correct. Yes, it's correct. Very good, Ayla. Next one. Yes, you, Red. Okay. Taking two or more numbers and, and adding them together. Your answer, please. Adding them together. Very good. Addition. Okay. Next. The last one. Yes, you are son. Okay. Take away from a group or number of things. Your answer, please. Subtraction. Let's see. Okay, very good. Subtraction. Okay. How about that grade 7? Did you like that activity? Of course. Thank you so much. Now, everybody, I want you to get, okay? I want you to get your mathematics notebook. Everybody, get. In the count of five. Five. I'd rather one. Two. Three. Four, five. Very good. Okay, don't forget to write the date today. Today is July 19. Okay? July 19, 2022. Okay? Now, everybody, so let us have our next activity, which is entitled Sub Me In. Sounds easy? Okay, sounds fun. I know, grade 7. Are we ready? Let me show your hand. Your thumbs up if you're ready. Okay, let us proceed. Okay, for our directions, find the equivalent value of the given words by substituting the numerical value above to each letter of the word and adding all numerical digits. Okay, let us have our example. For, for, uh, for our first example, okay, I'll be presenting to you the alphabets and each of the alphabet has corresponding numerical value or what we call the numerical digits. Okay, what I want you to do is find the numerical digit of every letter and add it or find its total. Is it hard? No? Do you understand? I know. Okay. So, for example, everybody, we have the word humble. 
So this is the corresponding digit or numerical digit of the word humble and its total is 61. Okay? So in this activity grade 7, I just want you to answer it correctly and honestly. Okay? Aside from answering it, I want you to reflect. Okay? So what is the importance of this activity? Is it just, I want to get a high score? Okay? Is it very important, Mapola? Okay, later on, we will discuss it. Okay? I will call one or two students to share their reflection regarding this activity. Are we good? Okay, are we ready? Okay, so I will be giving you three minutes to finish this activity. Be honest, grade 7, this is a very easy activity. You can do this on. Okay? Okay, so now let's have the activity. First, knowledge, hard work, skills, talent, attitude. Your timer starts now. Okay, very good, grade 7. I guess all of you are done. Okay, so everybody, in this activity, I want you to check your own paper. Okay, I told you a while ago, I want you to be honest in answering this activity. Check your own paper. Okay, so for our answer, okay, for the knowledge, we have 96, hard work, 98, skills, 82, talent, 72, and attitude, 100. Who got five? Very good, Gate 7. All of you got five. Congratulations. Okay, now, I asked you earlier to reflect. So who wants to share his or her reflection? Okay, you, Samantha. Attitude is the most important. Very good. Yes, you, Jay? Same as Samantha. Okay, thank you very much, Jake. Very good also. So, what is the importance of this activity? Or what is the value or the, or the moral lessons that we can get in this activity? Okay, everybody, take a look at this. Okay, everybody, no matter how hard you work, how much you know, the attitude we bring into each day, especially here in school, ultimately dictates our success. That is the most important grade 7. Now grade 7, I have here some questions for you to answer. Ready? Okay. So for the first question, who wants to read? Yes, Arsene. Very active, huh? Okay, for the first one, what did we do in our previous activity? Okay. Very good, Arsene. Substituting variable. Ah, numerical digits into a variable or letters. Very good, Arsene. You may sit down. Next one. Yes, Carlo. Okay, how do we find the value of the given words? Your answer, please. Very good. By adding, everybody, by adding the numerical digits of each letters of the word. Is it correct? Of course. Very good, Carlo. So now, grade 7. Like what I have told you, our lesson is evaluating algebraic expression. Evaluate. Okay. So now, everybody, take a look at this. Observe example number one. Can you read? Yes. Yes, JC. Read the expression. Very good. Thank you. Sit down. X plus 7 for X is 12. Okay. How are we going to evaluate this? Any idea, please? Yes, JI. Substitute. Okay. Next one. What else? After substituting, substituting what? Complete the answer. Okay, very good. For us to evaluate an algebraic expression, we need to substitute, okay? We need to substitute 
the given numerical digit for a variable. Okay? For example, here, we have x plus 7 for x is 12. We will gonna, next, we will gonna substitute the x, the variable x, by the numerical digit 12. Okay, because x is equal to 12. So now, we have x plus 7. Now, we will have 12 plus 7. Is it correct? Okay, can we evaluate it? Can we proceed? Can we answer it? Of course. So now we have 12 plus 7. 12 plus 7 is everybody? Very good. 90. Is it hard grade 7? Do you understand? So now grade 7, there are two, only two words to remember to evaluate algebraic expression. Give me one, Camille. Very good. The first one is substitute. Substitute the given value to the variable. Okay, next one. Yes, Dave. Very good. Perform. Perform the indicated operation by following the rules of PEMDAS. Again, grade 7. Always, always, always remember the rule of PEMDAS. Or follow the rule of PEMDAS. Understood? Do you have any questions? Clarifications? Okay. Nine? Okay. So if that's the case, let us try example number two. Everybody in your notebook again. Okay. Again, write the name today and write example number two as the title of the activity. Okay. I, all, I will give you three minutes to answer this because this is very easy. I know you can do this. Okay. Okay, so here everybody, I want you all to evaluate 6x squared plus 3 when, number 1 or letter A, when x is 0. Letter B, x is equal to negative 2. And letter C, x is equal to negative 5. So we have here 5 uh, expression or 5 answers, uh, 3 answers rather. Okay, 3 different answers. Okay, ready? Start. Okay, grade 7 done. Let's check. So for letter A, if x is 6x squared plus 3, if x is 0, the answer will be... Who got the same answer? Very good. Next one. If x is equal to negative 2, the answer will be... The same answer? Very good, grade 7. And how about last, last one? X is equal to 5. The answer is? The same? Very good, grade 7. Indeed. Okay, grade 7. Really, um, I must say now that you really, really, really understand the lesson. Okay? With fun. Am I correct? Okay, very good, grade 7. Thank you so much. Now, okay, so everybody, I want you to bring out your phones and go visit our Google Classroom. Check or look for the activity name quiz time. Okay, question? Yes, Jomari. I don't have your phone with you. Okay, that's okay, Jomari. For those who do not bring their phone or do not have their phone with you, you okay please get your notebook write the day today and the title activity or activity title quiz time okay please okay please write there your um, answers and after checking take a picture of it and send it in our google classroom and turn in do not forget to turn in huh? okay do not forget to turn in okay so everybody for this activity we have here given the value of A, B, C, X, Y, Z. A is equal to 20 pesos. B is equal to 50 pesos. C is equal to 100 pesos. X is equal to 200 pesos. Y is equal to 500 pesos. And Z is equal to 1,000 pesos. Given this value or given the value, evaluate the following algebraic expression.
expression. We have number 1, A plus B plus C. Number 2, X plus 1. Number 3, B plus 2Y. Number 4, 10C minus um, quantity X plus Y. And number 5, 2A squared plus 2B plus 4Y. Once you're done grade 7, I am going to check that. Okay? Whether you do it, okay, whether you send it or not, finish it or not. Okay? So now everybody, let us proceed to our next one. So this is our assignment for today. So for our assignment, this is also posted in our Google Classroom. Okay? Kindly visit it also. The, our title name is Assignment and uh, together with the date today. So here everybody match the places with their products by evaluating the given algebraic expression by answering the pair. Okay, matching in the widget. Uh, within the book widget. Okay, everybody take a look at this. So let x equal to 3 and y is equal to 5. Okay? Don't forget, we have x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 5. Okay, next. We have here different places and different products or special products of each places. I want you to match, okay, those places and special products. For example, Alfonso. What is the special product in Alfonso? Oh, match it. Okay, um, how about in... In Indah, what is the special product in Indah? Match it, ma. Can we match it automatically? Grade 7, I have provided the values, the variable, and its, um, um, and its uh, numerical digit. So what I want you to do is to perform. Substitute, okay, substitute and perform. Evaluate the algebraic expression. Given in every places. So, in Alfonso, we have specific algebraic expression. In Ida, we have specific algebraic expression. In picnic group, picnic group the time, we have specific algebraic expression. In, in, in Silang, we have specific algebraic expression. Okay? Next one. Do you understand grade 7? So far, do you have any question? Sure? Okay, none. So everybody, how are we going to send our assignment? So as you can see here, this is our Google Classroom. I want you to click those three lines. Okay? So after clicking that, click the envelope. Can you see that? Click the envelope and next spot. And you will see this. Please input your name in the student mail box and your student email. After including your name and your student email, just click send. Then voila, you already have or sent your assignment. Is it hard? Is it complicated? No? So I know. Okay, so do you have any question? Really? Any questions? Clarifications? None? Okay, if that's the case, Gate 7, thank you so much today. Okay, I hope I hope you learned a lot. Okay, if you have a question, um, I am just one message away. Okay, you can message me in my um, social media accounts. Okay, or you can message or you can talk to me directly. Okay, Gate 7. So now at grade 7, that's all for today. That ends our discussion. Thank you so much. This is.